Hey everybody, it's Trisley. We're playing Super Auto Pets. Let's give it a go. Hmm. Well, it certainly is a start. A start consisting of all of the weakest babies man has ever known, such as Pillbug, which will provide health to our helpless man, which will provide damage to nobody. <laughs> I can't not put this guy up front, which means our only unit with two health. It theoretically has a chance of killing two things, although it, it would never, it would never, it never would. We'll be some flying chunks. Not the prettiest of imageries, but you know, when you have a newborn child, or just a friend who doesn't know when to stop, some chunks may, uh, they may fly occasionally. <laughs> a draw? Well. Uh, how about you hold me as extremely unsurprised, as I completely expected a draw to go down. When you're running pigs at the early game, there's not really any other sort of thing that can happen. You guys are cool. I will give a little bit of baby stats to our pig. Okay, we're running big pig, and we're running half levels. The goal of this game is to get as many half levels as physically possible. We don't want to level. Leveling is outdated. Ah, oh, lost to an otter. My dude, my dude, my dude. Okay. Oh, there goes our half-level dreams. You're gonna ruin that quick, hey. Give us something cool. I mean, that's that's kind of cool, such that you can get out and you can get in. And honestly, you should just glass cannon yourself. We don't really need anything stronger than that. Okay, super glass cannon. Congratulations, Moth. You just won yourself. Possibly a pass to the end of the game. How long it'll take us to get there? Who's to say? Could be in five years. Could be, what, in like four turns? How many losses have we had so far? <laughs> Okay, clownfish beat by its own clownfish brethren. We're gonna have to go for a revenge story. Next time, you will defeat that clownfish. I can see it in his eyes. Look at the pain. Look at the torture. Look at the excitement and the bloodlust. Next time, this man shall be ready. With his meat bone of power. I mean, we could actually... We're, we're getting kind of strong on you. So much, in fact, that I think somebody else should get your damage. Because your damage is actually quite enough. At this point, I would say I'm actually relatively satisfied with your personal quantity of damage. I wonder how much it cost him. Okay. Two hits? Mmm. And they said it couldn't be done. And they said one of my units killing two of theirs simply could not be done. Very unrespectable. You can actually, I mean, I'm gonna say it again, you're the most likely to stick around, so I'll give you a little something, and you're fine. Tamarin? is fun. Hmm. Current ability value. One out of two. What do you mean? Do you not have like a level three thing? Where'd you go? Okay. I don't know why it says one out of two. It seems kind of weird. Um, I like the concept of a Tamarin, obviously, because the fun part is like, mm, you're investing in the future. He's kind of like a gamble because like half the time you sell him for nothing because you just need space. But half the time he does something cool. You know what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've already rolled past at least one of you, so I've definitely already wasted a bit of time. And I probably should have saved, like, all of these units because they're all jams. And if I want to do, like, a pivot that's actually going to help me in the future, they probably would have been a cool idea. But aren't I just so darn committed to the uh, little bits of stats that we've gotten on our baby units thus far? Ow. I don't think he probably would have helped anything anyway, but, oh, their Tamarin's cooler than mine. Oh, so was their B. Aw, oh, everything they had was cooler than mine. How sad. Um... Yeah, you can leave. Although, actually, I probably should have at least kept him until this guy went down, but you know what? No, we're going for Honey Badger. I'm not gonna give you a pineapple. I know you want one. It's bad for your health. But, you know, if you're gonna insist, fine. You can have a pineapple. I'm pretty easily won over. Um, I don't blame myself. I blame God. <laughs> okay. Okay. He didn't kill him, and he wouldn't have lived anyway. And everyone's dead. Well, three damage? Ha! Snail. <laughs> okay, we have one win and two hearts, which means now is the time to sell one of my best units in the name of scaling to heck this Tamaran. And also, I guess, the badger, if you think he's cool. Which, I mean, technically speaking, yes, he is cool, but we're not talking about him right now. Talking about the Tamaran! Mm? Oh, I've never seen the crane before. Friend ahead hurt. Give it melon and five attack. 
That's a jam. But the he the friend ahead has to live for one hit. Which is not a jam. So I'm gonna give your benefit to him with hopes that- I don't know. What are the chances the ant happens to give you that and you're actually able to like live past the, a day? And I'll save the falcon as a good sell. He's not very strong. It's not a very great sell. Not a great use of a level 2 tamarind. But it's something. It is certainly something. Alright, to carry on my squad of dreams. By squad of dreams, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I've definitely overcommitted to like level 1 units here. I mean, I've got some other levels. This guy's at tier 5. This guy's at tier 3. He has no levels and he has no attack. And I gave him a pineapple probably way too early. But he's certainly present. Oh, big clownfish. That's the guy that my clownfish was supposed to beat. Thank God we kicked him out. The, we kicked him off the team early because he definitely would not have been able to beat him. If anything, we saved him the confidence burst. Okay, you're out, sniper. And we want you to survive. No, wait. This guy actually started with more attacks, so this is kind of a weird concept. But melon armor on our falcon. Which, I guess the one negative there is that now he can't have a, a pineapple to, like, be cool with, but... He can't always be cool about a pineapple. Pineapples are not all that big of a jam. I would save that garlic, if not for the fact that I think we actually have lemons coming, so I think we'll wait. We'll wait on the lemons. And, I mean, waiting might be the worst decision ever. Thank god. Uh, the wasp are terrifying, because every time you see one, you're like, Oh my god, how do you have so much attack so quickly? Yes, melon! Melon of dreams! Ha ha ha, stork! I love you. Oh, is that our first win? Oh, a second win? Beauteous, beautiful, and gorgeous. What does cheese do? Attack with double damage once. That's actually pretty rad. And honestly, you can leave. And instead, trumpets aren't too bad. I honestly think that this unit just by himself, like summoning an 8-8, that's pretty good. And the ant actually can get out. Like, as soon as we get something that's cooler than the ant, he is, he is extremely replaceable at this moment in time. You know what I think our main problem here is? We're not running a sniper build, and we're not really running, like, a summon build. But we're also not scaling at all. So, technically speaking, we have one summon and one sniper and no scaling. And I think that the scaling is definitely the situation. That's the problem. <laughs> we have nothing to gain. Our switch outs are like pretty effective in the short term, but in the long term, I'm not sure we're actually heading in any particular direction. We have no plan, we have no concept. Concept is level 3 you? I don't know. Get out, you're in. Bison, uh, I tried you last time, you didn't work out, so that sucked. My feelings are extremely hurt, and it's gonna take me a few years to get over it. Mm-hmm. More trumpets and a level 3 moth next turn. Which will turn our moth into like our literal best unit. Well, it's hard, actually. Oh, look, it's a little dock. I played Little Misfortune pretty recently. Jamming game, super fun. And there's a dock in that game. How's that for a stretch of a connection? <laughs> it's like an entire minute, though, because the dock is like the longest thing in Timbuktu, so it takes like an hour for that part of the game just to walk. I don't know why they made like a very rickety wooden bridge all the way across. You know what? I think that we were sucking, and we sucked so hard. That they put us uh, against all the other people that suck, but then suddenly we did one turn of pivot and now we're great. Which is like cool because we're getting wins all of a sudden, but negative because everything that's happening right now is extremely temporary. As soon as the game realizes that we were just kidding when we were like not cool, they're going to put us back with the winner's group and we are not ready for that. Y'all suck. Carry on. Okay, um, so while I was talking, I bought this white hogger because I was like, mmm level two falcon snipes um but thinking about it a little bit uh, at all i've come to realize oh my god it worked <laughs> i absolutely thought that the falcon was going to shoot before the tiger anyway so it wasn't going to do anything and i wasted space but it actually used its ability that's crazy and the falcon just did what like 10 damage what's what's your level two do is 10 damage it looked like 10 damage which actually seems pretty weak for a level two ability 14 damage. Was that what you did? Hmm, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe that's not quite what you did. You know, you could say, bloop. What? Because the octopus is always a jam. But, you know, we haven't run this guy. We haven't run this guy before, so he can stay for a hot second. And probably should give someone cheese, but I'm going to roll because I, I make bad decisions. I don't know if you've noticed up until this point. 
It's probably kind of hard because, I mean, a lot of the decisions I make are pretty freaking amazing. Call me... Call me a liar, I guess, but... <laughs> I mean, the popcorn of this tiger is going to give us, like, an entire rainbow life. Yes, that was the perfect unit! Okay, well, that wasn't amazing, but it's kind of funky that I got that. Yeah, see, that's pretty cool. I think one use of a lemon followed immediately by a melon armor. That works. That's, like, enough, I think, to carry somebody. You're at five, six wins. Six wins. The magic number is seven. So if we get one more... Then we're a hot jammer. Dang, there's like an airplane swimming across my sky at this very moment. I wonder if you guys can hear it. Okay. Scaling! Man, this cat looks weird. Does this look like a cat? Something's kind of off about the way its legs are done and the completely blank stare it's got going on. Something feels like this is a... This feels like it's like an alien disguised as a cat. This isn't a real cat. Look how realistic this tamarind looks. And look how beautiful this pufferfish is. That's not a real cat. But you can have this. Because your whole objective is death, so you might as well do a little sniping before your death. And you can have this, because I just think melons are cool. Level 2. Popcorn? No. Here's the little jiffy thing going on, though. I would actually prefer this guy being back. Just because I he sucks, and if the crocodile is going to hit somebody, I wanted to just do the guy who's going to die anyway. But... I, I don't know if this is real. At some point, I was under the understanding... That if you summoned, if you had trumpets that be, that came into existence on the last unit, that they didn't work. They just didn't do anything. They didn't summon the Golden Retriever. But then I also feel like there have been a few times where my last unit summoned something and the Golden Retriever did still come out. Or at least the enemies did that. So I'm very confused as to where my brain was going. I swear to gosh, though, that there was some games where I summoned a Golden Retriever at the very end and it didn't come out. Who was 16? Do you, just because you have a level 2 of what I have, you think you're better than me? How about you try a thick hawk with double melon? Oh, a jam. Oh, 23 beaver. Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Oh, yes? Jams. Hot jams, my dude. Y'all are dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing in my little chair over here. Man, how long have we been on one health? And we have seven wins. We've won the game. This is an objective win, and we had one health the entire time. That's crazy. Oh, if you insist. A snake is good but i really just want a second one of this guy that's also good that's cool too a second one of nyala though oh my gosh this is the first chocolate i've seen i feel like this entire freaking weekly god they're so rare why are you so rare not even a tier six all these garbage ass tools i'm buying like nothing from the shop because it's all lame oh space scene i want space scene i have my background set on random hey that's fine right Oh, that's less fine. That was less cool of you. I mean, I was, like, cool with the first thing, but that second thing was a little bit out of bounds. Oh, yay. Okay. Oh, no, come on. Why did you get to shoot twice? Where did that come from? Oh. <laughs> Why? Okay. Well, seven is still a win in my books. That was still pretty good. I, I feel like it all kind of escalated right there. I feel like we had a decent shot. If I had gotten my level two guy and I got my full-on retriever out there, I think we would have actually made it rocket hard. Okay, here's the question. Would I like to possibly actually win my first round, or would I like one additional turn of scaling? My brain says one additional turn of scaling, but my second brain, which actually knows things, which is like tucked inside my first brain, it's being protected by the smoothness of the first brain. It's extremely wrinkly, the second one. It's saying uh, one tick of damage is not worth an entire possible win. And I'm like, okay, fine. Today we're going to be some discombobulated pets. My pets are very confused. If you would like to look at the faces of the pets that I have, do you feel like there's a single thought in any of these faces? Because I don't think so. I think these faces are blind as can be. A win? Oh. <laughs> I sold my soul to the devil for you. I refused one entire tick of damage for you, you ungrateful. These are both good units. Two health next turn. A moth is just kind of a jam. We'll take the moth. We'll take the moth and we'll take the bird. Take everything that seems like fun. Mix it all up and then you're done. Rada, 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 rada. Man, I loved that show. 
it was so psychedelic though the fact that the textures like didn't move everyone was just kind of walking around on top of them you would think that that would make it easier for like the animation because they don't have to like constantly draw anything but they still had to like cut out the parts of the clothing that needed each individual thing so they were basically coloring in reverse like coloring with an eraser so it probably actually did not save any time but they didn't have to draw like shades for the parts that were just random things and they got cool textures which most shows are not willing to do because obviously that like takes a long ass time to draw every time so i would say overall they were definitely winning in and out and in and you know what spider i feel like i don't respect the spider because he's not that great long term but Anything that summons in the very beginning of the game is actually pretty great. Man, we have so many levels. My heart says I gotta save all these levels for, uh, for turn 5, just for the bison play. Although the bison play has not been working for me uh, that hard recently, so maybe I shouldn't be relying on it that much. Okay, two words. Hmm. Do I save the levels? Um... Purely because we have this guy, I would say no. Hmm. I would save you. And I would I would health health healthatize you. And we're gonna give your health to this bird because he's doing nothing if not being a class cannon. More birds. Man, I mean I got so many levels. Okay, so I do have this snail, but what am I going to do with it? I mean, if we lose, someone has to get out of the way. I guess I can combine the birds next turn. Is next turn turn five? I never learned how to count, so... It's always kind of hard for me with these games that, like, use fancy numblers and shit. Fancy numblers. <laughs> witch bird. Aw, oh, cutie. I want to random the witch out. What are we wearing right now? Um, fancy hat? I don't know what this hat is. Okay, it is turn five, so it is time for the combinations. That wasn't a bison, but here's this. And this. Also not a bison. Uh, how about extra birds? Should I put birds in there or just take this armadillo? Let's just do the thing that it's giving us, honestly. And you can stay. And next turn, we're going to basically get a level 3 bird. And at that point, we'll get a bison. And at that point, it's fine. Because, I mean, we, we're going to have to get a level 3 beforehand anyway. And we didn't have one right now. We have some decent stats. I don't like the front uh, situation you had going on there, but we do have some decent stats. Decent enough, at least, to kill these vikings. And we're still gonna do this. We could do it now, but we're not gonna be able to ford the guy if he's here. And he wasn't here, so it's fine. Sucks to be me. I shouldn't save the moth. I, I can't keep this moth. This moth, as cute as it may be, it's not a good unit. I shouldn't be keeping it. And yet, and yet, look at those stats. <laughs> and yet, look at those temporary stats it has right now. A little bit of extra health, a little bit of extra damage. Jammin', jammin'. No! Yes. Okay. I was afraid it was gonna kill me, but we pulled victorious. Three wins and only one losses. Wow, this is the run. This is the run. Well, look, now I've mitigated. You guys told me not to take that, but now he's almost level 3, so hmm, joke's on you. Uh, I'm gonna be even more committed to a bad unit than I previously was, huh? Joke's on you. <laughs> We've got levels, to say the least. That's the thing, though. Look how leveled my team is, and look how little stats this guy had, like, even before that armadillo thing just happened, though. The jellyfish, I feel like, half the time he's amazing, and people have, like, the biggest jellyfish in the world. The other half the time, I feel like he gets nowhere, even with all these levels. If he doesn't level, he doesn't stay. And he's not currently leveled, so he doesn't get to stay. I say to the beetle while talking about the jellyfish, you can have this, although I admit I, I don't really know how many times you're going to live based off of that. You know what? I'm actually going to buy a unit that does something. Are you proud of me, Dad? Look, Dad, I bought a unit that does something. I, I said I'm not only going to commit myself to a single tier 4, I'm going to actually buy multiple things. And not just uh, hold on to my tier 1s and through the entire mid game. And then only at the very end when they start giving me other units will I take it away. We have to play the mid game. The mid game is what I've been missing this whole time. Okay, this is kind of cool because now we have like a choice of who we want to get rid of. I kind of like both of these guys though. I mean this guy's kind of lame. I like that he's given everyone stats, but I also like that the octopus is an octopus, so that's kind of cooler than that. You can have this. There's a lot of people who could really be using uh, onions and shit, but not onions, garbage. You're garbage. Nobody wants you. A lot of people who could use garlic. 
but there's not enough garlic to go around. If I say so, it's very sad. Hmm. I do want this crocodile. And I could have it if I was willing to switch out one of my two level threes. But I kind of feel like I want to switch this guy's out. Even though he was like my whole like ride to fame, you know? My whole success story this round was supposed to be buying that falcon. But he is pretty weak and now I have two other pool units. So I feel like I I'd get rid of it. For a crocodile. For one crocodile. I would get rid of it. That's a lot of trumpets, good sir. I mean, I'm not one for music. Certainly not one for music. I am one totally for music. However, I was not jamming just then. Now you're out. And this is going to save our life. Somehow, this is going to save our life. We need health in the form of something that's better than a peach. And because I have such a strategic desire, I'm actually going to endlessly roll. You know what, though? Out? This is a jam. Doesn't that look beautiful? Look at this crane. She's so elegant. So graceful. Here's a meat. Uh, it's... A meat is suck. A four? Plus four? Why did I think a meat did plus three? I know it used to do plus five, and then they nerfed it, because apparently it was it was too hot. Too hot for this world, too precious and pure. Hey, my melon armor. <laughs> you dangle. Okay. That man's running, like, beginning of the game units, so why does he get to be so much cooler than I am? I'm pivoting. Is this not what my, uh, my instructors always tell me to do? To pivot quickly? I would like more chocolate, please. I specifically gave that to him because I like wanted him to live really bad, but everyone else could really use some chocolates. Everyone else's abilities are a lot better. You know, this is probably more likely to actually get a use out of it, so I will do this. But once you get a lemon, I might consider switching that back. Have I seen a single pineapple? Ooh, snake team. Snake is a spooky man. But my sniper works even- No! You use strategy against me? That sucks. No, oh, my melon. Oh, oh, everything I worked for. <laughs> okay, well, if that snake didn't have an onion, it wouldn't have been moved back. It would have been killed before everything went to crap, and then I would have won that one. Or I, I would have drawn it, at least. I'm not going to switch to you right now, but I appreciate the offer. And I appreciate this tomato, and I actually like this pineapple as well. Wow, thank you for all of- the game has had a change of heart. They said, okay, I know we gave you five wins and then we bullied you to heck, like, until you almost died. But you know what? You're actually kind of cool, so have some actual, uh, freaking tools that do anything. Okay, one day he'll get a kill. Uh, one day that guy will die on the first hit. One day my stork will get to use his ability. One day that other guy will get a kill. Sadly, none of those days were destined to come. Oh, boof. So sad, my guys. It was so good, though. What was that? Five wins? That's not... Thorumble, it's like a C, C plus, maybe a B minus. I'll take it. I'll take it as a B minus. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.